Unbox the printer by removing the four plastic box cover caps as shown. Lift the box straight up, and then remove the plastic covering from the printer. Lock all wheels in place by pressing the locks in the down position. Locate the four lift handles on the left and right sides of the printer. Lift the printer using these handles and place it onto the stand. Slide the printer into the slotted rail on the left side of the stand as shown. Remove all packaging tape from the printer and top paper tray. Install both stand wings by aligning the side notches with the four screws located on both ends of the stand. Tighten all four screws on each wing. To position the printer, remove the bottom paper tray for visual reference when inserting the two alignment screws. Insert both screws from underneath the stand and into the bottom of the printer. Next, plug the power cord and ethernet cable into the printer. Unbox the feeder and place it onto the right side of the printer stand. Slide the feeder into the open slot on the printer. Locate and unpack all feeder parts. Screw the locking knob in place on the back side of the feeder. Remove the two locking knobs from the alignment rail. Slide the right side media guide arm under the rail until the block on the side of the arm is flush with the rail. Align the block to the nut in the rail slot and put the locking knob in the top hole and tighten. Perform the same steps for the left side arm. Remove both thumb screws from the alignment rail bolts. Locate one of the separator assemblies with its weights. Slide the assembly on the bolt with the notch side towards the rail and position the assembly so that the separator pad is on top of the belt. Tighten the thumb screw once the assembly is positioned. The assembly will sit flush once installed properly. Perform the same steps for the other assembly. To install the backstop, separate the joined backstop parts by removing the thumb screw from the bolt. Choose which backstop you want to use, then place the bolt on the underside of the plate while sliding the backstop's grooved area towards the bolt. Hold the backstop in place while tightening the washer and thumb screw onto the backstop. Locate both clear strips. Remove the tape backing and press each strip to the underside end of both media guide arms. Locate the four thumb screws for the optional conveyor tray and platform. Place the converter platform into position on the left side and secure all four screws.
Place the optional conveyor on top of the printer until the metal spacer is positioned against the media eject wall. Secure the bottom of the conveyor to the platform as shown. Plug in the feeder and conveyor power cable into the back of the feeder. Finally, open the front of the printer and remove the ripcord strip from each drum located inside. Unbox all four color toners. Before inserting the toner, shake each toner five to six times to ensure even distribution of toner within the bottle. Insert each toner with the label facing up into the printer. 